Hey guys, welcome back. I'm with another episode of Sly 4 Thieves in Time. And the last episode we um, had cringe. Like super cringe, Murray dancing, whatever you want to call it. Um, well, luckily that's done. And then I realized after that mission, there was another mission that had dancing. Which is more cringe. But today we're going to be doing some fishy business. I don't know if that's a pun or not. Yeah, that's a pun actually. It's triangle for that? What? That makes no sense. In all the other games, it used to be square. It's been a long time since we went fishing, Bentley. I'm excited. Well, this is no vacation, Murray. We need to help Ryuichi get back on track as a sushi chef. And what he needs most right now is fish. We're here because these caves are his secret spot for catching the best fish. Unfortunately, judging from this security lock, it looks like El Jefe's been here too. Can you open it, buddy? Are you kidding? I've never met a system I couldn't hack. Hopefully this is a Don't third worry, type of hack. Murray. We'll be fishing in no time. <laughs> There's three types of hacks. We've already seen two of them. The basic one, the motion control. And then there's like a auto scroller, which I forgot. Ah, yes. This is like the weirdest one of the three, where you don't think you would expect it, but you it appeared randomly. Level one. There's like five levels, I think, and this level you shoot faster, and we have now a grenade. And we have to use the R1 button to explode. Level two. I forgot what this one is. One thing about this minigame you get hit, you pretty much lose a level. Okay, we get a heat sinking missile now. Which is interesting. Level 4. We get more firepower in an omnidirectional way. Level 5. We have a aura around us. In level 6. We have more. Level 7. But it goes up to 10, doesn't it? That big crystal that I destroyed, that's an insta level up. Okay, this is... This is actually pretty stupid. And now we have a force field. Level 10 is the maximum. Destroy the core! Look how much stuff we're getting. I know you can like double bomb the thing and you instantly kill it. But I'm not that lucky. For <clears throat> the hacks, I think they should revert 
it just back to the normal one because the fir- the original hack from two and three they were the best but then they added two other ones that are like garbage hmm that's one thing I forgot last time when I first played through the game and now it's just spam circle nut multiple button okay <clears throat> you can see how much I forgot within a year okay Murray we need to find the secret fishing hole let's try that gate over there think you can open it no problem chum fresh fish coming up Um, there is something that I learned from this. That you can skip up, these Murray. places because there's a cycle that you can that, that there is. Lucky for us, that large plant is a giant lamp leaf. Hitting it will make it glow and attract the bugs. Give it a whack and get those things out of our way. Awesome! You know how much I like to hit stuff. Like that. See how fast that was? Nope. That was out. That was bad. That right there is all dependent on how your stamina is with your circle button. This is one situation where your muscle mass may be problematic. Let's hurry. The fish should be biting right now. Like, you learn so much just by watching speedruns about games. Oh. Let's see, without a real fishing pole, I'm gonna have to use this old magic for Murray's toy robot. I've calibrated its output to code. One thing I don't like is motion control. So if I can keep it close enough, it should attract them like a charm. Talk about magnetism I just need to tilt like this to move it around motion controls are horrible yep a delectable spot and snake mouth yeah that big eyed bug eater how are we catching these with magnetic with mag with a magnet explain to me game Now this one's huge. It's a rare giant bald old Lansky. There we go. We got all eight fishes. Okay, Murray, take that fish to the cart. And from between third and fourth game, or yeah, Murray could actually Murray, jump and carry stuff. Well, second through fish. fourth. Try throwing them into that old cart. You can pick them up again after you get rid of those lightning bugs. The cycle's awkward. Nope. I jumped too early. Yeah, we gotta do this. I'm not gonna waste more time. But I could definitely do the other one. Shoot! I need some more fish. Really? Really? At least it okay, saves right Brian, there. Take that fish to the cart.
Like, you gotta be careful with this. Oh, hi there. There we go. Hi there, little buggy. She has a reward. I'm not sure, but let's just get this fish back to him without El Jefe's goons turning us into sashimi. Never fear, Bentley. Also, Nobody in I believe next month, I'm going to be joining Murray. speedrunners and speedrunning this game. Well, the community. And trying to get a few good times here and there. Like, I'm going to be doing each level bit by bit. Then do a whole entire story for each, and then do everything together. So I can actually speedrun the game pretty good. Deepnet, what do you have? We probably... Loot shit. <sighs> That's actually pretty good. And we're going to do Bentley. But... How are you guys liking this series? It's almost the end of the actual Psy Cooper series. And the people who made the games, Sanzaru, they have a whole entire Egypt level scripted out. Everything. And they want to come back to the title, but either it's going to be DLC or an entirely new game. In my opinion, it should be a new game. Because... Well, kind of cliffhanger. And also with how... Oh, I should just run. I should just run. With how the last game ended, they should definitely make a fifth game for the series. That is for sure. Okay, according to my calculations, this is the optimal location to launch the RC car. With the miniature microphone I installed, it should be a snap to follow El Jefe and see what he's up to. There's the El Jefe. Looks like he's headed for the prison. Time to get rolling. El Jefe is an interesting character. Time to track that tiger. Larry's old chicken hat is going to come in handy too. I just need to remember to press the L2 button to enable the perfect. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I touched the guard while I was a channel.
Rip. Again? Wow, this is bad luck. This is like very reminiscent. It has remnants of the last game. As you could tell. Because you had a magnificent prison pales when compared to my Chase the Spark and get the um Nobody would guess the Palace Gate switch is actually under the bridge. <laughs> You're messing with the wrong turtle, buddy. Oh, wrong way. I don't know how I did not die there. They just see a chicken go by. And they're like, oh. Yeah, we were supposed to do this mission first, then the, the last one. Caves. Good thing I sealed them. My dragon gates are invincible. As long as that lazy guard doesn't get distracted by sushi. Very interesting. I think we can probably help that guard out. <laughs> Even if those fools get to the dragon gates, they'll never figure out the switches are inside the dragon mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Keep flapping those big lips, sucker. And he found us. He only sees a chicken. Off. He's so stupid. Now I just need to find that blasted Ryoichi so I can deliver the package to the boss. Package? Boss? We need to figure out what's going on in that palace. Yes, you do. And next, we get to be Ryoichi Koopa. Which is great. Konnichiwa, Hefei-san! Greetings, Madam Geisha. Such a stupid tiger. This way. These guards and bosses are stupid. Like, oh, I'm just going to not compare what this person looks like to what the actual photo is. And we have enough time to do this Ryoichi mission. 
we have another thief now. I know. Shock ammo. Bomb kick. Bleh. All right, Ryoichi. Let's do this thing. My favorite. One of my favorite characters from this game alone. And I think out of all the games, it's mostly like Sly. But this. Yeah, mostly Sly. Third game, though. My favorite's Guru. Even though you rarely play as Guru. Okay, we need to go up and this way. I wish you had things like square boost in this game because square boost was a lot of fun to use. <laughs> like, it's bet up traveling, but then they took it out in a third game because it was a glitch. But the glitch was a lot of fun. That's cool. Okay, which way do we have to go now? We have to go right. game that was wait what okay that's a I think that's a bug I'm not too sure Egg down. Poison plant seed. That's a yikes. This compound will couple even the largest enemy. This poison will make those guards sleep like babies. Why did I hit that? Oh no. Where am I supposed to go? Um. Oh, I passed it. Okay. Um. I think I could. Where am I supposed to go? going up here. Oh, we're supposed to be fast. I must 
strike the blossom to extract the poison. Okay, there we go. We got two of them now. And now we could just go away. Or I think the mission just ends. Yep, the mission just ends. So if you guys did enjoy this episode of Sly 4 Thieves in Time, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more, please subscribe for future content as I upload every day at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video and goodbye.